So how great did you guys do for the Steam Summer Sale? A few of you actually told me how many games you got for such a good price. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a game that I got for $1.50 which is a really awesome deal. You guys should know by now that I love cheap or free games, and this is definitely one that I hope you guys grabbed. Hero Siege is a side-scrolling roguelike RPG game that is adorably pixelated and so much fun to play with up to four of your friends. It is a wave-based game where you fight off hordes and hordes of your enemies in order to fight off a boss on every interval of six waves. There are dungeons and crypts that also pop up to let you fight in to give you special loot and gear. You also have talent and spec trees that you use points to level up and get super special talents. I played the Necromancer for a while and my super special talent was raising the dead. It was like having three extra guys there to fight with you and it was super awesome. There are six acts for you to fight through, each with over 50 different waves within them. You die a lot. Like, a lot. Unless you're super skilled, which we clearly weren't. <laughs> But you are able to revive your friends and keep on fighting, which is very useful. You just have to make sure that the last man standing doesn't get shot down while he's trying to revive the whole entire team. It happens. A comment on Steam by the username Rockstar summed this up perfectly. Okay, let's play this game for 20 minutes. It will get boring after that. Gets hooked and plays it for 13 hours straight. We didn't go quite that far, but we really did play it for like five hours the first time. Our characters were leveled into the 50s by the time we were done. I don't know what it is about this game, but it really does get so addicting. In those five hours, we also got through, I think it was act two or three. I want to say two because we died a lot. <laughs> so there is plenty of time to be spent playing this game if that's one thing that you're worried about. But I'm sure that as you unlock more and more of your talents, it will only become even better as you get all powerful. One connection that I did make with this game was that it reminded me a little bit of Binding of Isaac. I'm pretty sure that it's just because they use the same type of little balls that shoot and the flies and a few other things that I noticed. They aren't made by the same developers though, so it could just be like a stock thing that is allowed to be used throughout different games. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments of any more totally addicting games that you just cannot put down. And if you'd like to see more of me, you can find me on my channel Brits Games. All the links for me are down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're not too addicted to me. <laughs> so funny. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. So how great did you guys do for the seems seems some sale? Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.